Hello and welcome. My name is Marie and this is my yarn journey. Today I'm going to be talking about all the items I knit in 2023, or should I say all the ones I've taken a record of, um, because it was my first year back knitting after an 11 year gap and I'd only just discovered Ravelry and that was all new to me. Um, so I have kept note of most things, but I don't have all the items here with me either. Some didn't work out because I was new back to knitting and all the techniques have changed since I last knit. When I was knitting, I learned as a child knitting. Um, and back then it was uh, paper patterns that you bought in, sh in a wool shop and um, straight needles mainly most of the time um, and I mainly just knit on very small garments uh, and a lot of stuff I never really finished. So when I came back to knitting um, Christmas of 2022 uh, my partner bought me a set of interchangeable needles um, and then that was it really. I discovered Ravelry, I discovered the knitting community, uh, found a local knitting group and met a wonderful friend there and so yeah knitting has kind of taken over as my main hobby really. Um, but yeah so it's been a big learning curve, it's only been my first year back and a lot of the stuff like I say has been totally new to me. I've made a tally of uh, the items that I can remember that I've knit and I've looked on my Ravelry, most of the main projects are on Ravelry. Um, I did a lot of things for the first time last year. Uh, my first socks, first knitting in the round, uh, first sweater, so quite a lot of it like I say is new to me. Um, so I'll give you the tally of what I can remember first because I've written it down and then I will um, discuss some of my favourite objects which I've got in a pile here and then I will um, you know, let you know on Ravelry the other bits of stuff that I've done as well I did quite a few accessories so um, I ended up doing uh, five pairs of socks I used the Crazy Sock Ladies uh, tutorial on uh, YouTube and I'll link that down below because it's really really easy to follow along with to knit your first pair of socks. Major mistake I made with uh, that first pair of socks was unbeknownst to me because I hadn't read the pattern correctly or listened to the video correctly I knit them on 3.25 millimeter needles instead of 2.25 and as you can imagine they're quite big so they've ended up as bed socks. Um, but yeah that I would highly recommend that tutorial if you're wanting to get into knitting socks I really do enjoy knitting them um, and it's just been a bit of a journey trying to find out the best fit for me um, and also I've realised over the space of um, this last 12 months or so that I actually prefer knitting socks two at a time and the reason for that is because I just find it so difficult, I don't know why, but so difficult to start that a second sock. Um, so. Yeah, I've started knitting them recently, two at a time, and I'm really enjoying that. And um, there will be a video coming up um, where I'm knitting the Dulcy Backy socks, two at a time. So look out for that. Um, so last year in total, like I said, I did five pairs of socks. First ones being the ones I've just mentioned. Um, that was on a West Yorkshire Spinner's sock yarn in a purple colour. Um, I did a sweaters and tops I've grouped together and I did nine of those. A couple were flops. My first one was uh, a lento uh, and that was my first ever sweater. I really enjoyed knitting it. Um, I did it with a drops yarn held with a uh, drops mohair. Uh, since doing that I made a few mistakes on it so I wasn't really happy with the finished garment in in the final look I don't, don't think it looked polished enough um, and also I realized after knitting that sweater that uh, I get irritated by mohair I did find if I had it on and then I left it on for a bit it was all right but yeah it really did 
uh, bother me the mohair and also it was extremely warm uh, so I don't think I've knit any other sweaters with mohair since then um, just because it's, it adds a lot of extra cost to your garments and also for me it just makes them itchy so it's not really worth it although I am currently knitting um, a sweater with the Surrey Alpaca to give that a try and as I'm knitting it it feels soft to the touch but you don't know until you start wearing it whether you're going to be able to tolerate it or not fingers crossed I can um, so that was nine for sweaters or tops shawls I knit two one was a sample knit for giddy yarns and uh, one was for my mum so I've not got that here um, and other than that I did a tea towel and a yarn cosy so I'm just gonna show Sorry, I'm just going to show you um, one by one the um, the garments, my favourite ones, ones that I wear uh, on a regular basis now, uh, and that have been I feel have been pretty successful considering it's my first year of knitting. And then I'll um, get the information on my iPad so I can tell you more about the yarns and stuff. Um, so I'll just show you this one, and if you've got any pictures of these garments, I will. Put them on the screen now this is the collecti hopefully you can you can sort of see it there um, i really really love this garment and it was an absolute pleasure to knit um, i would say with this pattern it's not really beginner beginner friendly because um some of it they don't really hold your hand through this pattern and some of the bits i was a bit like mm, what am i supposed to be doing um, the first time I knit it, um, it was too short, so it came to about here, um, and I wore it quite a few times, and I was like, I would wear that more if I um, added some length, so I did do that, I put it back on the needles and adjusted the length, and I'm really, really pleased with it now. And this is a rowing yarn, and I'll just um, get my iPad to uh, read out the information, but I made it with a... Um, so. It's the um, Colette T and it's by Whitry Design and the yarn that I used is Rowan Wool Cotton and this yarn is lovely, it's really nice to work with um, and it's, it's so nice to wear, it just feels lovely, I can't even describe it and I really love the colour of that one. So the next um, sweater I'm going to show you is the Cumulus Tea, which most people have heard of. This is in a um, Giddy Yarns hand-dyed uh, sock yarn. <clears throat> I think it was called Mountain something, but I will check in a second. Now, I did have a problem with my gauge. I love this, it fits me, it's nice. The only thing is, um, my uh, standard cast off, I've come to realise, is super tight. And these eye cords, are really snug on my arms which is a shame because otherwise I love this top. I do still wear it and I like that it's a v-neck um, but yeah uh, because of the sleeves being tight I did try and block it out a bit but because they are so tight it does put me off wearing it a bit but I'll probably make another one of these at some point because um, I do really really like it. And obviously my understanding of gauge since making this, um, my knowledge has increased with that. So yeah, the yarn is um, Giddy Yarns Merino Nylon Sock and the colourway is the Lonely Mountain and it knitted up lovely. I didn't really get much pooling and I didn't alternate my skeins or do any sort of thing, I just knit as I would um, and the, the dye was pretty, pretty even. Okay. The next garment that I'm going to talk about is the um, Tolster Tea, and that's by Rebecca Clo, Crea Bayer. And this is what that looks like. This is absolutely lovely. The fit on this is great. When I decided to make this Tolster Tea, um, I knit a swatch, 
and um, I didn't want the fabric to be any looser or open than I've got so I did actually uh, knit a couple of sizes bigger based on the calculations so that I could keep the fabric a, a bit more um, tighter not as open um, I love this it's drops bell and um, I can't remember the colourway let me see if I can see it on here oh it's number three beige in the drops bell it's got a lovely drape it's nice and cool and it's lovely for spring and autumn okay the next item that I'm going to talk to you about is the um, oh, what's it called one second it's the Clo Cozy Classic Light by Jessie Made Designs and I knit it in a um, avatar colourway which is from Miami Fibre Co and it is Pandora the colourway and I used um, 1040 metres for this and I really, really love this. It's, I've worn it loads. I wore it to Yarndale last year. It's super soft because it's a yarn that's got um, a cashmere in because I got their merino, merino nylon cashmere blend maybe. Um, a soft yarn. And I just really had to get this colourway because I absolutely love the film Avatar and this just was like, yes, that is Avatar with all the lovely bright colours. Again with this I literally just knit it. I've had a tiny bit of pooling but at that point I didn't really know about um, alternating skeins but it's not enough to put me off wearing it. It's beautifully soft against skin. It does pill uh, because it's so soft and because of the cashmere but I just depill it from time to time. And last but not least is my favourite sweater that I made last year and I absolutely adore this and I'm sure if you've watched any podcasts on YouTube you'll have seen the stripe hype before. When I went to um, Yarndale last year I decided that I wanted to, to pick up the colours for doing these stripes um, and I looked round and round and round and then just as we were about to leave I um, saw these on Siobhan's um, stall and um, the lovely lady on the stall, I think it might have been her mum but I'm not sure, uh, helped me pick out the colours and I absolutely love how this has turned out. I didn't make this with as much positive ease as the pattern recommends, I think I went one size less than it recommended for me and I adore the fit, it's really lovely, it's warm, it's cosy. The main colour is um, the recommended yarn for this sweater and it, oh it doesn't say on here, just one second I'll just load it up and I can tell you what it's got. It's Sunday's Garn, Sunday's Garn Double Sunday and I think that's in the colour Almond. Um, again that is a yarn I would definitely use again, I really love that yarn and I can see why um, Veronica Lindbergh uses that a lot in her patterns. It's really great. I have noticed some pilling with it, but I've been, since that was finished, I've worn it at least two or three times every week. It's so easy just to throw on my jeans and, um, you know, you kind of feel put together and you're warm and snuggly as well. So it's win-win really. Um, and I think that's everything that I wanted to go through on this video. Um, I'd love to hear what you needed in 2023, if you want to put that in the comments. Um, and let's see what the comparison will be to next year when I'm doing this video if I've done as many um, as this or more or less or maybe just more complicated who knows hello just jumping back on to say that um, I did seem to rush through things quite quickly in the uh, video once I watched it back so I thought what I better do is I'm going to put a little bit of a montage of pictures now for you to look through so then you get a better idea of what I knitted. So I hope you enjoyed that and here they are.
Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.